But first, one more thing about fact-free indulgence in our politics today. Opponents of health reform first said that it was a secret plot to kill old people. Then they said it was a secret plot to take away veterans' health care. Then they said it was a secret plot to take away health coverage just from Republicans. Then they said it was a secret plot to kill women with breast cancer. Casting around for another group of hopefully scarable Americans to try to turn against health reform, it's possible reform opponents have hit a new low this week, targeting disabled children. Republican members of Congress Trent Franks and Kathy McMorris Rogers held a press conference this week warning that kids with disabilities would somehow become victims if there is health reform. Pressed by reporters as to whether she could actually point to any language in proposed health reform bills that would deny care to disabled kids, Congresswoman Rogers said no. But she did say that parents of disabled kids are worried it will happen anyway. Hmm, I wonder why on earth they'd be worried about that. Maybe because people like Kathy McMorris Rogers and Trent Franks are telling them to worry about it? It may also be useful to note here that kids with disabilities in this country right now, by and large, have government-run health coverage. The S-CHIP program is kids' health insurance. The Medicaid program covers people with disabilities. So when Kathy McMorris Rogers and Trent Franks tell people with disabilities to be afraid of government-run health care, they're telling them to be afraid of what they've got now. Don't let the truth hold you back from a good scare, though, right?